so today I wanted to just show you the products that we use here at our house and make sure you have everything. I know you all have gotten the PowerPoint off of my website. So Perina Pro Plan Focus Puppy Lamb and Rice Formula. Obviously you don't need a huge bag like that. I do mix their food with a tiny bit of this puppy food, just these little toy poodles. I mean, when I say tiny, it's like a teaspoonful. Those are the treats. I also use these treats, Retriever. And those, I can't even remember where I get those from. So, but any kind of little treats, they have puppy ones. Puppy toys that I really like are Nyla Bone. And I'm a huge fan of Kongs. The red ones are softer than these. These are for my heavy chewers. I put little treats in there. And then I put some little bit of puppy food in there. And then I put peanut butter, making sure that it doesn't have xylitol in it. And I put them in the freezer. And the puppies will play with those for hours and hours. These are the kind of, these are the kind of bowls that I like because they can't tip them over. So I use this for water. These are okay too, they have the rubber tips, the rubber bottoms so they don't slide around, but I really kind of like the ceramic ones. Also for harnesses, this is an extra small harness and right now even as small as I can make it, it's too big for these puppies. I don't like using a collar on these little tiny dogs. And then I wanted to show you some grooming things that we do. So the this is, an almost eight week old puppy. This is Romy. There's a little treat here. I use this brush, which is like a puppy brush. This little cone, which is good for getting out eye boogies and things like that. I have given him a little bit of a trim this morning. And what I did is use these blunt scissors and just trim the hair on his eyes. There's his hair there. There you go. And I like to keep their feet trimmed as well. I do, don't eat the hair. I do use a little clipper there, and all these items are things you can get at Walmart. I do use baby clippers for their toenails, and as long as you just do your toenails every week, just lay them on your back in your lap, and just expose the toenail and just take the very tip of it off, the white part of it. And I know some people aren't comfortable doing that. I'm gonna wanna show you like how I do some brushing here. See if we can get this. This is when you wished you had somebody to help you here. Okay, so I'm taking this. This is a, really a cat slicker brush. And that's why I don't like collars, because you see I kind of grabbed him here a little bit and he started coughing. This is just like a piece of Velcro around his neck so that when they go to the vet, the vet knows who he is. So when I do brushing, I kind of part the hair and just brush down. Part the hair brush down, part the hair, brush down. Then you do that over the whole body. And he doesn't mind it at all. He will eat his hair though. Here, eat that. And you wanna make sure that you're brushing day. I brush daily. One, it's very relaxing and it keeps their hair clean because sometimes on their little butts, they'll get poop there. So you might have to trim the hair a little bit there. But if you're brushing every day, you can kind of see that there's nothing there. But as long as you don't let them get matted, then they're okay. So again, you just part and brush down, part and brush down and do it as gently as possible. Their hair is still super, super fine. It won't start getting curly until they get a little bit older and it gets curlier every time you cut their hair. So every time you have them groomed, it gets curlier and curlier. Some of them will stay fluffy like this for a year. So I've had ones that have done that. You always wanna check their feet and make sure there's no poop stuck on that. And there's his little toenail and you can see the ends of them are white and you can just clip that right off of there. So I'm gonna do those right here. It's a good boy, yeah. So I just pull the skin back, or the hair back rather, and just take the very tip of it off. So these puppies, I don't remove dew claws. We used to remove dew claws, 
but it's really like amputating their, their thumb, a human's thumb. So I don't like doing that because it helps them with walking. And it, that's a really short nail, but it still needs to be clipped. Again, if you're not comfortable doing that, you know, you can get your groomer to do it, but it's so easy. Again, the easiest way to do it is laying them on their back and cutting their hair. Another way to do it, once you get good at it, is hold their foot backwards and clip it that way. And then you can kind of see the hair, the hair will grow down into the foot and you want to make sure that that part is kept trimmed and cleaned off. Otherwise they get mud in there, they get poop in there and everything else. So he's really good about being brushed. All my puppies are because I do it all the time. Sometimes I'll even fall asleep if I'm holding him in my lap. So his coat is, com you know, completely tangle free. It's when people don't brush their puppies that it gets tangled and that's very, very painful for a dog to have tangles because it's not as simple as cutting them out because it tangles all the way to their skin. Is it a good boy? Huh? Took a boy. And then this little comb is the one I use because they'll get little eye boogies in there and I just comb their face. There you go. It's a good boy. So that's food, some supplies, and grooming. And we'll do another video on some other topics.